Hey everybody, my name is Tina. I'm a recovery specialist. People know me as AKA The Stretch Boss. Um, I have somewhat of a following on IG, but now I am getting a YouTube page. So what you're gonna find on my page is content about corrective exercises, some stretching, AKA hence The Stretch Boss and uh, just try to help everybody out there so they could be a little bit more of an advocate for their health and show you some things that you can do at home to fix yourself because that's what i'm here for to fix you people so a little bit about myself what made me pursue this career i originally was in the car business for over 10 years and i got fired and uh, I had to collect unemployment and I was looking for a side hustle and I was certified for personal training at the time so I linked up with a friend who owned the gym and he was nice enough to let me train out of there gave me three clients to start off with and when I started training people again I noticed that people were really messed up and they couldn't do basic things that your body should be, you should be doing. You should be able to squat down and bend down and pick something up off the floor. You should be able to do something that simulates a deadlift and people or pick something overhead and people weren't able to do this because they had pain. And what I did, being the person that I am, I started to do research on YouTube and Google and I started to uh, find different stretches, uh, mobility drills, corrective exercises, and I was giving them to my clients, and they actually started to enjoy that part of the session, of the training session, more than the actual exercises, because they started to become pain-free. And uh, so it started to become more of a request. So someone in the gym saw me, working with someone on some corrective exercises and mobility drills and had suggested that I go back to school for PT. Um, although I deem myself a recovery specialist, I am a licensed physical therapist assistant by the state of New Jersey. And I went about doing that because that person suggested I go to PTA school and I did my research and um, long story short, I got in the program. And when I went there, I found my passion. First day of school, and I saw all the tables, and I saw all the equipment, and the exercise equipment, and I just knew that that was what I was meant to do. And I found my purpose in life. So I finished school in two years. Um, I got physical therapy jobs. Uh, PTA jobs and the last job that I landed wanted me to stretch people uh, I deal with a lot of athletes in my nine to five and a lot of them already know how to exercise or they think they know how to exercise and so it was more stretch this person stretch that person stretch this person and so in the beginning I was like I didn't go to school to stretch people what the hell like this is not what I went to school for so me again being the person that i am i started to research things that could or stretches that could be more productive for me and beneficial to my patients at the time so i found something called fascial stretch therapy which is a five-day course that you take out in canada it's from stretch to win it's called fst and uh, i told my boss the doctor at the time that I wanted to do that um, basically they didn't think that people would notice the difference between what I was doing as far as my regular stretches and what I wanted to get certified in so I went to Toronto because you can only get certified in Toronto or Arizona at the end of day five I didn't know I just thought I was learning a new technique to bring back to my patients they give you a certification and then they also tell you that now you have a certification to actually treat people and do 60 minute stretch sessions so 
I did that. I got came back and I started to try some of the stretches with my patients and I started to get really good feedback. People from the gym that I worked out of started to I started to make a name for myself and they started to request me uh, to you know who's that girl that stretches that does all those weird stretches and so you only get me for like 15 maybe 10 minutes at work and people were requesting like full body sessions so I said yeah I actually can do them and so I did that and one thing led to another because people will come into me wanting to get stretched but then they would also start telling me about injuries that they had past injuries knee pain back pain sciatic different things like that shoulder pain and so the pt in me wants to fix them so i would say okay you're coming in for stretching but now i'm gonna do the stretching but i'm also gonna treat you for your knee or i'm also gonna treat you for your lower back and we're gonna use x y and z um, I have a bunch of different certifications uh, for some of the techniques that I use. So I just pretty much my goal when someone gets on my table is to fix them. So I try to do that by any means necessary. So you guys can expect from me on my YouTube channel some corrective exercises, some stretches. Uh, I like people to be an advocate for their own health and self-care. Um, I do have a business, but the goal is for people to be able to take care of themselves and you should only come to me if you really need or if it's a maintenance, which is like once a month. So I do have an Instagram and people hit me up all the time uh, about different stretches or exercises that they can do because they can't reach me because they're too far in another state. And so I'm going to try to answer those questions through video because a lot of the times I do send people videos of other people's videos and then they end up replying how come you don't have a YouTube or you're not in these videos doing these stretches or exercises so that's the goal and uh, we might talk about some different topics maybe things I see in the clinic or uh, things that I treat and that might be interesting to you and I might have a discussion about that. So what sets me different from other people or other recovery specialists is I would have to say, and this is feedback from my clients, would be that I treat everyone the same. I do have some celebrity clients. I have professional players, soccer players. Um, I do have some gymnasts. Uh, pro bodybuilders, but it doesn't matter. I have the weekend warrior, your average Joe. So it doesn't matter who lays on my table. You guys are all gonna get the same treatment and you're gonna be treated the same. So I didn't come up with the name Stretch Boss. My coworkers did because uh, we have a doctor here and usually it's the doctor or myself that kind of runs the office. So AKA I'm the boss when he's not around and a lot of people say I give off that vibe, uh, almost a boss type vibe. So my co co-workers, we were trying to figure out a name and I stretch people. So they were like, you're the stretch boss. And just my demeanor, stretch princess, stretch, stretch diva, queen, that didn't fit me. So they said the boss was where it was at. <laughs> my favorite thing when working on people is when I'm using my elbow and then you just feel like something release and then you can just go like a little deeper into the tissue that's like my favorite feeling in the world because it's like Ooh, I'm in there you know you get in there that's like my favorite favorite thing uh, to do on people or to, to feel when you're touching people and you're working on them because they could feel it and they're like oh shit what just happened and I already know <laughs> what happened i just got in there maybe a little bit deeper than they thought i was i just want to help people i want to try to make people become pain free in a holistic way without being addicted to opioids or painkillers and try to teach people that they can fix themselves uh, you are your own advocate for your body and that there are things out there that can help you achieve that. You can learn, take the tools from what I'm teaching you, you can take them home. Um, but generally, 
it's just I just want to help people be better humans move better feel better be pain-free and not have to use uh, outside tactics being via drugs or um, what else do people use injections things like that I get a lot of it in my clinic uh, people are on painkillers, they become addicted, or they're getting injections or surgery. Surgery should only be a last resort. You should be able to heal yourself and fix yourself. And for me, surgery is when you have no quality of life. You can't move, no painkiller in the world is helping you, nothing is working, then you go and you get surgery. But I feel like people underestimate what their body is capable of doing what their mind is capable of achieving and if they just listen to their body put the right foods into their body did the things that they should be doing to fix themselves they might find another route um, majority of my clients in the clinic come to me because I am the last resort they've gotten chiropractic, they've gotten PT, they've gotten injections, they've been on painkillers, they've been to acupuncture, they've seen everyone underneath the sun and they find this little old girl on Instagram and whatever I'm doing is appealing to them and they want to, you know, they tried everything else, why not this? And I've gotten people better within one session. Why? Because you you know i listen to what people are saying um and i usually give them tools to take home uh, so that they can be again an advocate for themselves and i think i find that i found a connection with people so i can listen to what they're telling me but know what they need and mix the two together all right guys so that's it uh just a little bit about me. I hope you guys like the content. I hope you guys get to learn something on how to be better humans and be better advocate for yourself and move better. Don't forget to subscribe, like this video, and that's it. I'm looking forward to my new YouTube family. You can follow me on IG, The Stretch Boss. That's it. Simple.